I have a feeling this video is going to be so, so, so short, but I don't care because it's going to be a good video. <laughs> Bad man, ah, and uh, me get this song for them. Lego, ah, original bad man. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Welcome if you're not new. Today I am bringing you guys my everyday makeup routine for school. And because every day is in quotes, is because I am not going back to school. I'm staying home. We are strictly online and um, I'm very bummed about that because it's my senior year and I really want to go back. I am trying to make it a habit to just not sit in my PJs, you know, and do class, although that's very tempting and I might end up doing that at least once a week, but let's get into this video. But first, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe box down below and click that notification bell so you get updated every time I upload especially if you want to see college lifestyle and beauty videos so let's get right into this video so we are starting off with the eyes and y'all already know I'm using my NYX prefit eyeshadow primer for the look I love this primer and I am using my Juvia's Place Eye Magic Concealer in the shade 10 just to kind of blend, um, add some color into the primer. Um, and now I'm using my e.l.f. brow pencil. I forget the exact name of it. Um, it's just a nice dark black brown. And I'm just filling in my brows, just making sure it's feathery and natural for this look. It's a little bit on the glam side, but... You know, just making sure my brows are nicely defined and filled in. So now that my eyeshadow base is blended out, I just blend it out with my fingers and my eyebrows are done. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette in my Glamour Squad. This is my go-to for an everyday look. And I'm just using that light brown transition shade and I took one of the medium browns as well just to make it pop a little bit on my skin tone and i just blew that out in my outer crease and just in my crease as well again this is a very light look nothing too pigmented too intense um very toned down so i just wanted to take a neutral color in my crease so that's what i'm doing now so I don't know why I didn't indicate it in the video, but there is a cranberry and an orange, burnt orange shade in the palette as well. So I took that in my outer V and kind of deepened up the crease color and just the eye look. And again, I blended that out so it looks a little bit faded and a little bit more natural, um, but still adding that depth that I wanted to the look. So, yeah. So, after blending all of that out, I'm going to take my Black Radiance Complexion Palette in the Deep Dark Shades. And I'm going to take that, not Sculpt, is it Sculpt? I think it's the Sculpt shade. And use that as my lid color. Um, usually, you know, I'll go for a glittery one, but, or a sparkly one, I don't know. But I decided to go for a more neutral, toned down version of the look so i'm just patting that all over my lid basically setting the primer nothing too bold um for these online zoom classes so that's basically what i'm doing so now i'm going to take my stubby packing brush and i'm going to use that dark brown and I'm going to just line my upper lash line with it just to give some definition, just kind of um, bring the whole eye look together and just kind of finish off this eye look. As I said, it's this is a very toned down eye look, very easy eye look and... So if I want to hype this look up or gas this look up, I would usually add a nice natural pair of lashes, but I don't really feel like it today, so I'm just going to toss them to the side, okay? 
So now I'm going to just add some mascara just to kind of bring that volume that the natural lash lashes would have. Um, this mascara is perfect. This is the Essence Get Big Lashes Mascara. And it really lengthens my lashes and clumps them together nicely, not unattractively, very nicely to kind of bring that volume and that definition that the natural lashes would. So for the face, I'm using my e.l.f. Luminous, the Luminous Putty Primer. And I love this primer. It is very moisturizing, very hydrating, very kind of cooling to the touch when it once it touches your face. And I really like it because it doesn't leave a greasy feeling. It still primes, it still controls that oil, but it also adds a nice luminous natural glow to the face as well. If you look closely at the primer, it has some like flecks of gold in it, which is really nice, but not like overdone like a highlighter would have. So now I'm going to use my ColourPop Light Sticks and Accent Up and I'm just going to use that to highlight underneath my base. I love doing this because it kind of emphasizes that natural glow from within and just that natural glow. Um, it kind of minimizes the need for as much powder highlighter that you put on top at the end of the foundation routine. So I really, really enjoy this and I'm just going to blend that out. On my cheekbones and some of my nose as well. Now it's time for foundation. I am using the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Foundation in Deep Cool 2 and this is a lovely a nice nice foundation especially for the summer. You can use it as a tinted moisturizer because it doesn't give as much coverage as say my I Am Magic foundation would or even the Maybelline Fit Me foundation would. Um, so this is a nice light coverage foundation, definitely buildable, um, and yeah, I put on a second coat after the first coat because I just wanted a little bit more coverage, but this is a lovely foundation for just, you know, the nice light days as this one is, and it just also lasts a long time on your face. Um, pretty transfer proof and it basically lasts all day so I really love this foundation. So now it's time for the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Cinnamon and on these lighter days I tend to stick to a lighter concealer obviously for the highlighting effect but with an orange undertone so it corrects my dark under eyes and my dark upper lip as well. So I'm just going to put this on and blend it out as soon as I put it on basically because this is a lighter coverage look. I don't need to wait for it to set for better slash fuller coverage. So now I'm going to just set lightly with my airspun powder and this is definitely going to crease throughout the day. This is not a foolproof creaseless makeup look. I realize that as someone who has very creased under eyes but I'm just gonna set it and kind of make sure that it's in place for the time being and set the rest of my face with it and keep it pushing. I'm gonna use my Black Radiance pressed powder in hot chocolate to just set every part of my face since this is kind of my skin tone before I would use it as bronzer but since now it's the summer I can use this as my skin tone color and this basically just melts in nicely with my makeup and just sets any portion that is kind of that might be I'm not set it yet so Next, I'm going to go back in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm going to take a mix of the contour and the sculpt shade and just bronze up my face. Um, this just helps warm the face up, not make it look so ashy and so flat. So um, this is kind of my favorite part, looking at how the makeup really just melts together. So now I'm putting on blush and this is my cream blush the color pop blush sticks in under pressure this is just a nice salmon shade 
and what I do I just warm the product up on the brush and just apply it this is very light very just light and nice for this type of look um, I didn't really want to go for a bold blush now I'm taking my elf highlighting pow powder in sunset glow and I'm just gonna add on top of that light sticks that I added before foundation just a little bit more glow to the face just to enhance that natural glow and bring about some glow okay <laughs> So today I was feeling a little bit glam so I was using my e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow in the shade 24k gold and I just put that on my inner corner as inner corner highlight. Usually I'll just use the lighter shade in the color icon palette um, or the gold shade or the purple or the pink shade but today I just decided to use the gold shade because why not. So now I'm using my e.l.f. Magic Mist and Set setting spray and just pouncing that in. Y'all already know the deal to melt our makeup in and just make it all look cohesive together. So um, I'm just patting that in and making sure everything is set in place and ready to go for the day. So now y'all know I've been into my browns lately. So I'm going to use my ColourPop Matte Lipstick in the shade Limbo, the perfect brown lipstick. And I'm just going to outline my lips with that, basically just line my lips. And then I'm going to use the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer in Fantasy. And it's a nice champagne-y, gold, peachy gold gloss. I love these glosses because they're so moisturizing, they're not sticky at all and they're long lasting except when you're wearing a mask but that's a different story um so i really love this and it just makes my lips look so put together and a little bit more glam usually i'll just throw on some carmex but um yeah if i'm feeling a little bit more glam i will do this and basically loving the 90s tees with the brown on the outer lip and a nice lighter gloss or whatever on the inner lip so yeah so this you guys is my final look just a nice soft eye and a nice lip i've been trying these like brown combos lately and i really really like them and some nice pop of gold on the inner corner usually sometimes i will put this on my lid if i'm more going for a more glam look so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you get updated when I upload. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.